Food is this battleground of some of society's most urgent challenges. It produces a third of greenhouse gases. It destroys rainforests. It makes us ill. At the same time as we produce more food than ever, more than a million, million people go hungry. So we need different perspectives, not only from different geographies, but different ways of thinking, different disciplines, to solve problems in creative ways. I would describe the Humboldt Residency as a temporary think tank. The residency is trying to provide some positive solutions. And in my case, I'm working with food waste, especially, for instance, uh, orange waste, when we are processing to obtain the juice and the essential oil, half of this orange is considered waste. Using the principles of green and sustainable chemistry, we can use everything because this is a resource in the end. The peel contains many chemicals like flavonoids. Mostly you can find where it's yellow and the flavonoids are antioxidant compounds and we can prepare biopesticides that can be applied to the orange trees and we don't need to add anything else. With that we have a kind of circularity so when we are applying such principles we would like to guarantee that all people in the globe or around the globe would have access to food and that this is like a human right. Many people cannot afford three square meals in a day. And it's not for lack of land, it's not for lack of people. We just need the right policies to make this happen. I do a lot of ethnographic research. I immerse myself in the realities of the smallholder farmers. We could see that there is a multiplier effect if women are allowed access to resources in agriculture. So it transcends food availability. It brings about growth, both in food, both in the rural economy. By doing this, we are moving steps closer to achieving zero hunger and even steps closer to achieving gender equality. Food is a really wonderful way of inviting people into conversations that are otherwise inaccessible. I fill these necklaces with regionally relevant seeds because then they are engaged with the local cultures, climate, and communities in which they would be grown. The idea of wearing seeds as jewelry is exalting them to the value of a gem or something rare, and they are very valuable. This is the future of our food, is in seeds. One of the issues that we're looking for a solution instead of ways of responding that will have to be adaptable and you know, in the same way there's seasons, you're not eating the same food all seasons if you're responding to your location, you know, you're responding to the environmental cues. One of the magical things about the residency is having space to play and to be creative. The idea is to not only share perspectives, but to start to try and solve some problems in a small way and to think in different ways as well.